Welcome back to this epic comparison, where we compare two aircraft of a new genre, one that we haven't compared before, the Q400 versus the ATR72-600. Before we start, let's understand slightly more about these aircraft. In the world of turboprops, the de Havilland Q400 is one of the most popular ones ever. Since its entry into service in 1984, it was so popular that the production was unable to keep up with demand. The Q400 is the latest derivative of the popular turboprop, with it being introduced in the mid-1990s due to a growing demand of new turboprops to replace older ones. The aircraft also became a huge hit, with it being the only variant in production by 2008. However, rival ATR wasn't gonna let that stay. In 2007, they launched upgraded versions of their turboprops with new engines, a glass cockpit, among other improvements. This was part of the Dash 600 series, and similar to Q400 back in the day, the orders were overwhelming. The ATR 72-600 was so popular that the company had to quadruple its production capability. So then, two popular turboprop aircraft, but which is better? Before we start, if you're new to the channel, do consider subscribing and stay tuned for more great comparisons as well as some detailed analysis on the way. Do also stay tuned for some brand new aviation content which will nicely supplement the weekly videos. Do also consider checking out the newly revamped Airplane Productions Instagram page, home to some great quick aviation content from plane spotting to information on the aviation industry. You will also be updated quickly on the latest developments on the aviation industry via the story feature, right? Stay tuned to the end of this small but mighty comparison to find out which is the better turboprop. Starting with performance, carrying a typical payload of 70 passengers and cargo, the ATR-72 is able to fly 825 nautical miles. The Q400, however, has more performance, being able to fly 1,100 nautical miles while carrying a typical payload of 82 passengers. In max seating, the ATR-72-600 can carry 78 passengers compared to 90 for the Q400. However, when it comes to comparing these turboprops, not only is their performance important, but so too is their airfield capability. With a maximum payload, the ATR needs 1,367 meters to lift into the air, while the Q400 requires slightly more at 1,425 meters. Moving on to engine, the ATR-72 is powered by PW-127M engines, while the Q400 is powered by the PW-150 engines. Despite its higher airfield performance, the ATR is actually slightly less powerful, with a total of 4,950 horsepower compared to 5,071 horsepower for the Q400. The main reason is the lighter weight of the ATR of 13 tons empty compared to 17 tons empty for the Q400. Efficiency is of key importance for aircraft in this market category, as airlines flying short routes will have low profit margins. Comparing both and taking a look at the airplane production's chart of efficiency, the ATR burns less fuel at 1.49 litres per litre for every kilometre flown, compared to 2.16 litres per kilometre for the larger Q400. Per seat, the ATR's fuel burn advantage is reduced as it has fewer seats, burning 2.4 litres per passenger for every 100 km flown, compared to 3.46 litres per passenger for every 100 km flown on the Q400. All in all, the smaller and lighter ATR is simply more efficient.
As these aircraft are typically used for one-hour short hops, the cabin experience isn't of utmost priority. However, the ATR actually offers a wider cabin for passengers and more space. The fuselage cross-section of 2.57 meters across compared to 2.52 meters for the Q400. It also has larger overhead bins, new LED boat lighting, and interestingly, wireless connectivity. Bombardier has considered adding these features to their Q400 as part of their atmosphere cabin, but there has been no new development since. All in all, while the Q400 can carry more passengers, the ATR is simply the more passenger-oriented aircraft with a more comfortable cabin. Moving on to advantages and disadvantages, the Q400 has more seats and flies further. It is inherently a larger aircraft that could be used for more popular routes without the need to place a small regional jet on the route. However, it is more expensive to run and to buy with a higher list price of 34 million USD compared to 27 for the ATR. Furthermore, the ATR 72-600 with its higher airfield performance and slightly smaller capacity is the more versatile aircraft, while its cabin is also nicer for passengers. However, its added efficiency comes at the expense of passenger capacity and range. In terms of orders, well both have accumulated huge orders, not surprising given they are the best aircraft in the turboprop market. The Q400 has sold an impressive 645 units, with over 580 already delivered. The ATR 72-600 variant has sold an even more impressive 946 units, with 171 yet to be delivered. So then, with all this said, which aircraft is better? Well, the Q400 is a great turboprop and has proven reliable. With its higher efficiency and airfield performance, two very important criteria, the ATR is simply the better aircraft out there. And that shouldn't be a surprise, given one of the companies behind the ATR project is none other than Airbus. Thanks for watching till the end of this quick but interesting comparison and do stay tuned for more on the way. Do also stay tuned for more brand new aviation content making its way to the channel soon. Till we meet next time, wishing everyone a truly clear sky ahead.